Hi, David. Can you? So I have a question. Like, how do you identify like people um, or coworker that have like isolation problem? Sometimes yeah. it's just like you know, yeah. No, that's a great that's a great question. I think it's there's no like hard science to it. I mean, you can find like how are you, how isolated are you feeling in a scale that you would ask people, but you would just kind of get a sense of like. Um, you know, an isolated person is someone that's not meeting with other people and may not be engaging in Slack, may not be responding in, uh, you know, in email threads or what have you in ways that are just like the ways you would if you were like connecting with people and feeling like you're a part of a team, right? And so it manifests itself in different people in different ways. And so I think the challenge for managers is to kind of like, how do you empathize with um, people that have uh, are feeling isolated, right? And I think the number one way is just, you know, it's it's not a absolute thing; it's a relative thing. So, you know, if someone's behavior changes, you want to be um, attuned to how it's changing. Um, it's not like you we, all of a sudden isolation is equal to you know responding to three or fewer Slack messages a day. Like that's not isolation, right? But if that person typically is super active and of all sudden changes, then that becomes, I think, kind of a tipping point or an indication.